Well, now, you know what? The secret to being successful is not as complicated as people would love to put it. There is secret, there is something called the hierarchy of priorities. We can also call it the hierarchy of needs. If you can dare incorporate this in your life, I am telling you, you're going to have a very smooth ride as far as the achievement of the success is concerned. What exactly is hierarchy of priorities? How do you order these things in their priorities rather than just approaching them in sort of a blunt way and you don't even have what goes first and what goes second or something of sort. Today I'm going to show you something called the hierarchy of needs or you can call it the hierarchy of priorities. And guess what? I'm not going to share those complicated explanations and all those. I'm, I'm just going to use the layman's language, a very simple language, so that you may understand what exactly does it mean, the hierarchy of priorities. All right? By the way, guess what? This is all what I need to have you and me as a deal. All you need to do is to like this video and also subscribe. I mean, seriously, there's a more button written subscribe, hit that magical button, comment down below, let me what you think. Let's get into the picture. Okay, now, see, when we talk about the hierarchy of priorities, okay, hierarchy uh, of priorities, or we priorities, okay, or we can call it the hierarchy of needs. How are we going to define it? The point remains here is this. See, what happens in life is that um, we usually have, it's, it's sort of a pyramid, let me call it like, yeah, it's sort of a pyramid, pyramid, and that's how I love to view it. When you view it like in a pyramid form, this makes it easier for us to understand what I'm talking about. So what happens is that we have things differently. See, we human beings, we have needs and we have wants. We have things that we call them the needs and we have things that we call them the wants. And sometimes we get, conf we get to confuse between those two things. And well, both of them are important, but just because it is important does not mean it is necessary. You get what I'm saying? So when you differentiate between the needs and the wants, that makes a little bit easier for you to know what this amount of money I'm going to channel out there. Even before I write anything on this hierarchy of priorities, I'm going to ask you a very simple question. Let's say you have like 50,000, I mean, let's talk of like 10,000. This 10,000, um, you have not paid rent. The same, same 10,000, you have not actually, you do not have the food to eat. And the same, same 10,000, probably you do not have clothing. At an extreme occasion, you do not have any other way out. You have the 10,000 with you. You have not paid any rent. You do not have the food and you do not have the clothing. Now, let me ask a question. Well, now, what exactly would you go for? What would you actually channel that amount of money first? I'll repeat, you do not have the food, you do not have the clothing, and you do not have a You have not paid your rent. So what exactly would you channel your money first for? Exactly. You're going to do go ahead and do what we call the food. See, this is where it actually falls. This is the very base, you know, this is the very base. This is sort of the foundation of a human being. You get the thing. So, by, by the way, would, would you agree with me if I tell you, you can actually eat and walk naked and you do not even have a shelter? That's a reality because, I mean, seriously, how long can someone live without a home? You can live as long as you can. But how long can you live without food? Definitely. Then, then it means that long that you can live. I mean, the shorter it is, the long. I mean, the shorter it is, the period that you can live without one thing. Then it means that thing need ought to be catered for as fast as you can. So you find at the very foundation of the, this hierarchy of priorities, you find like food ought to be there. All right. It is the very basic thing that you need to achieve. And this is when you find the people are complaining about the cost of living. This is where the people complain about the cost of living. The cost of living. People don't talk about the cost of cars. It's true. People don't complain about hey. Cars are expensive people don't complain about well if they if they do complain about the cost of living in reference to the fuel or maybe gas they do so because hey guess what that cost of fuel it becoming high also it has a ripple effect to the common goods like food all of those kind of things now after you achieve what we call the food and those kind of things then we talk about the shelter we talk about the shelter we, we can actually classify all these things into into one area you know we can just say hey shelter we can actually call these things do it something Thing like clothing, you know, and all those kind of things. These are like the very basic thing. The primary thing that you're watching this video, or probably you are where you are, or probably why you usually wake up early in the morning, is to at least to make sure that you've conquered the three basic things. And that's for the human being. The shelter, the clothing, and also the what? The food. So the moment you conquer that, guess what happens? You become stable. You know, there is nothing that gives somebody peace and like when you realize, hey, guess what? I do have a family. They can eat, they can drink, they have a place where they can and call home and obviously they are not naked you feel satisfied then with that kind of a thing then you can be able to channel another thing or you can be able to think about another thing and that's why i always tell people and, and you, you know what and i want you to think critically about this the moment you start making money you actually realize that you're getting money through the kitchen
That's the reality. Kitchen is the very first indicator to tell you that you're actually making money. It actually tells you, hey, guess what? Now you're moving towards whereby now you're actually sustaining your life. Now, once you achieve the basic things, and this is why I always tell people, the moment you get your salary, or the moment you get your income, the very first thing that you're supposed to cater for is the basic needs. So the moment you achieve the basic needs, you've paid your shelter, what, what, now you go to the next level. The next level now, this is when you start to think about the personal growth, the personal growth. Now, what grows you? The personal growth, okay? Now, I know some of you guys don't even think about the personal growth after actually achieving the basic needs. What you think about is the entertainment. And those entertainment things are actually found on the top here. On top here, this is where you find... Um, Maybe you can say around uh, around here, you know, self identity, self whatever, entertainment, you know, moving out there, achieving your dreams, and all those kind of things, traveling the world. The moment you are even conquer that one, now you go to the last point part, and this last part is where now you become uh, sort of a force to reckon with in the society. You turn philanthropist, you start helping people, you start even thinking about vying for the presidency, you start thinking about the power because you've already conquered about the money. You see, somebody who is struggling at the down below here they are not even thinking about the power they are not interested with the power they are not even interested to be like the wealthiest individuals on earth they're not even interested in having all those things the very basic thing that they are worried about is that if their kids will eat drink and make sure that at least they can go to school and they can get all the basic needs about as far as the human beings are concerned so once you achieve that you go to the next thing that you call the personal growth now you start understanding that now you can listen to the language of savings you can understand the language of savings you can understand the language of investments and all those kind of things but there is no way you can even talk to somebody about can you imagine this going to a place whereby maybe there is a people who are doing their they are they are crossing over the borders because of the refugees the, the, obviously those guys are thinking about the very basic thing the food the shelter the clothing and the peace see when you talk about savings that is not a language that you can even buy you know and, and this is why you're supposed to know whom you're targeting in your market at that particular point if you're into business then think about the basic things don't think about selling them insurance policies and people are crossing the borders of the refugees <laughs> and such kind of a things okay so the point is this the moment you now achieve this you go to the personal growth this is when you you think about hey guess what i can buy myself a book that will help me about the financial management i can actually pay a financial advisor to take me through on how i can i can save i can actually go out there and be able to get um you know a, a, a savings you start thinking and asking yourself what is a share how can i actually grow myself how can i move myself from one level to the other that's the time now you start actually seeing some people oh wow therefore life is not about eating and drinking wow people are buying car you are new to buy myself a home i need to do all those things you're thinking about the personal growth and this personal growth is what you're supposed to go next immediately after achieving the basic needs okay now after the personal growth you go now to what you call the self-realization self-achievement you know these are things that you say hey guess what been looking forward into buying myself you know traveling the world i've been looking forward into you know guess what getting myself an iphone 15 pro max or whatever the iphone it is depends on when you're watching this video see when you realize that kind of a thing now at this particular level basically you we see when you're at a personal growth we can say you're still not yet financially stable you are actually on somewhere in terms of the finances you're getting your things okay you're not worried about the basics when you're at least in this particular level you might actually you can be termed as financially free individual you can you know you, you can you can dis i mean you're having like a substantive investment that are out there well if you mess a little bit you can slip back to the this lower category but at this particular point this is when you say hey guess what that is what a human being should have that's what actually you may not be having like the greatest thing out there but at least you're moving well in the progress of this life and then when you go to the last one again here this is where now you turn a philanthropy this is where now you become an individual who says now guess what guys here i am you know what i want to change i want to change the community i want to drill some boreholes i want to seek some boreholes for the sake of this community i want to do this i want to do the other at that particular point that's when we say hey guess what at this particular level you're thinking about largely this is when you think about power it's like talking about uh, the refugees who are crossing the border or people who are suffering and you tell them about the power they don't want to know about the power all they're thinking about is how they can actually get food on their stomach and also when you reach here this is now you start becoming a bureaucrat 
democratic well again it depends with your personality if you've been growing yourself a good personality and the growth as far as your life is concerned obviously when you reach at this particular level you should become an individual who becomes helpful not only to your life but also to the extended community out there you know become philanthropy helping people supporting them investments that help the community and all those kind of things and if you're not kind of an individual then you think about how can i access the power how can i make war how can i exp actually expand my territories how can i mark or make a marking in this world that nobody gonna erase it in something of sort you start thinking about the legacy and all those kind of things okay now when you're actually on the self-development obviously or rather the self uh, personal growth yeah you think about the legacy but you cannot actualize it at this particular point you only have the dreams and such kind of things now what is the hierarchy of priorities learn to uh, prioritize things that you know cannot be able to be shaken off right, right now for example you have unhealthy debt Think about how you can get yourself out of the debt. For example, you have some bills that you have not paid. For example, you need to pay your house rents. For example, you need to eat. You need to buy food. You need to buy the clothing. Learn to understand, hey, what should I prioritize? For example, you can get some individual who get paid, then immediately they think about drinking. And then you kind of ask yourself, okay, fine, between the drinking and maybe settling that debt, which one is the best priority that you should focus on? For example, you may find somebody who has a debt and at the same time they're struggling to save. They have a debt and which is an unhealthy one, but they're trying as much as they can to make sure that they save it's like you're lying to yourself you need to have a combination of both those things things you need to have a debt i mean or rather you need to actually think on how you can actually solve that issue of debt and at the same time you need also to understand hey once i'm done with this debt then i'm off the hook of the debt then i can be able to think about savings it doesn't make any sense for me like you're really struggling to save and at the same time you're struggling to pay a debt how about you feel or you actually handle one and also you shake it off and then you focus on the the other one so that you can be able to progress you see whenever you work with this the hierarchy of priorities you be able to understand hey guess what you're going to differentiate the needs and the, 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 the wants another particular point you're going to actually channel your money towards the appropriate areas guess what guys that marks the end of my video but never forget this hit that like button make sure that you subscribe and also comment down below i am a believer just like an iron sharpens another iron so we learn from each other for now it's a goodbye and see you in the next one